Hello friends, I'm Moom and today we're diving the fantastic world of Linux. And in this video, we're gonna deep dive into the specific niche of notes applications in the productivity category. Now, there are amazing applications, for example, Notion, Obsidian, and even Milanode. But all of them are somehow way too complicated, way too excessive featured, and way too powerful, even at the time when we don't need so many options just to take notes or create a database or something like that. And that is why here I am with two amazing notes application with, well, it is not notes. It's a full fledged notion like application. And then there's a simple application as well, which I like the most. And I must say, I've used both of these applications personally for years. And that is why I can tell you that yes, these applications are kind of amazing. So yep, let's get started, shall we? Well, you might have already guessed it. These are the two applications. So let's start with the best one, MarkText, the most powerful one. There we go. Well, let me just go back, save. Now, let me just open it properly. So as you can see, this is MarkText, a Markdown text editor, sort of an application full fledged. And at first you're going to see it like this. This is the default theme. But we have six different themes here. Now what it is, it is a markdown text editor, which actually gives you option to create a proper database. As you can see here, I have two. One is for preparation going on for AI and ML internship, becoming ready for that. And then here is my content graph. Well, let me just cancel this. And here I plan my content. That's just it. And you cannot imagine what this is. Yep, you cannot. Now let me just close it because my files are not the main highlight here. The whole application is. And for that, I'm going for preference. Now, as you can see, this is pretty amazing. Like it is made with decency. It's such an elegant, fluid and beautiful application. And you have options to do almost all sort of stuff. Like you can edit almost each part of this markdown text editor from font size to line height, from custom font to i don't know what that stuff is what i do know is that it has amazing spell checkers but i'm not gonna use that because yep that's not my style but here is something you might like we have six different themes so this is the normal light variant yep the one you're seeing then there's a proper dark variant just like that then there's a graphite variant well this one actually looks kind of good then we have the OG material dark variant. Like man, you have to try this out. Then you have Olysis. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a little hard. Yep, this is the color scheme. And then we have the one dark, literally dark. So we have completely dark and one dark. I use one dark most of the time. And then we have options to image insertion. Then we have a lot of shortcuts which we can cre create, edit, everything now besides that here is the side panel which looks damn good then we have the files and database here so these are the files and now in the horizontal top bar we have the open files and you can create new files just by that it's gonna be here then you have search option now what does what is it used well when you open something like a proper detail something there you can easily search for something like free and you can see it is going to show me where free word has been used in this particular file. Now, if I use Linux, then it's going to search from the other content one. So, yep, you can search from across the whole database just from this part. That's good. And then we have the index. Now, let's say I'm op I've am i opened mission internship. There you can see, let me just fix it. So, this is the proper table of content in which we have divided into different sections as phase one phase two phase three phase four and i didn't even realize that table of content was that good i just created it by myself with ai and the table of content is properly structured categorized and it recognized most of the stuff pretty greatly yep it did that and if i were to show you the other things then let me just show you one thing so right now here you can see this is the word count, characters count and paragraph count. You can set it to see it time to time. Let me just switch it to words only. And then we have the edit in which you can as you know, copy as markdown or just paste as plain text and other stuff. Then we have the paragraph to choose from. And yeah, one thing, let me just show you. 
So let's say you want, just like you type slash in Notion to get options, here you type at the read and that gives you most of the options you need. For example, let me just enter for header and type txt, no, not that, at the read, hey, what the fuck, sorry. So something happened, don't save. So when I type at the read, here is the stuff, I go to heading and type like, let's say test. And then let's say I want to create a table. So, and you can even turn particular stuff from this particular part, which shows paragraph and turn it into something else. For example, a bullet list. So that is how you do it. And then let's say you want to return back to normal, then you press enter twice and here you are again. Now each time you can go there or you just have to write at the rate and it will open all the stuff you need. And you see, they are advanced blocked as well. For example, you have diagrams, flowcharts, sequence diagrams, everything. Like this is the perfect place to create things. Especially if you're a teacher, a programmer, a content writer, or just anyone who wants a powerful markdown text editor. Let me just fix this. Let me just cancel this and control S to save it. Now let's say there is something new, then there's going to be a little dot which shows you that it is not saved. So let me just press Ctrl S and now the dot is gone. And that same applies to here as well. Nice. And you can easily access from settings to here, just like that. Now, at first, you might not see the sidebar. You have to go there, then view and then show sidebar. Then there are some other stuff as well. For example, there are different, well, work mode. For example, there is source code mode, which looks like this. Yep, the source code is written like this. And then we have normal mode. Then let's just go to the other one, which was typewriter mode. So yeah, it's going to be like that. Then we have focus mode. Now, I don't know what focus mode does because what am I focusing on? Like everything's blurred. Only the title is actually visible. Now that makes me think like even here, as you can see, most of the stuff is literally gone. Like where the heck is it? All right, now I understand. So focus mode means that you'll only focus on the stuff you're writing or reading just like that. Wherever you click, it's going to be visible, but then it will not. So yep, that actually makes sense. And with that, our first application ends. Yep. And here we are on the second application, which is Beaver Notes. There it is, the application Beaver Notes. And I must say, the UI and the design of this application is just beautiful literally beautiful now as you can see you can create notes from here new notes then you have option to see visible edited notes and then you have the section of where all the notes are here let me just go to welcome to Beaver notes all right then this is also markdown text editor but it is a little better in my opinion it lets you backup protect import data quick access wrap up and it's it has a better ui that's just it and if you go to the settings, then you have a lot of options as well. For example, advanced settings. Well, where are the advanced settings? I don't know. You can easily import data and export data with encryption. That is good. And then you can change your appearances with a lot of accent colors. This is new. For example, let's say I want blue color. Then everything is turned to blue. Let's say I want pink color. Then it is pink. So let's stay with the yellow one. And then we have light and dark theme. Dark theme also looks damn good, but I'm going to stay with light. And then we have interface size. Let me just go on with more spaces. Yep, it is a little more compact now. Yep, it is more compact. Then we have fonts, font code, interface direction. If I go to RTL, then it's going to be right to left. Till now, it was left to right. Literally, it, it looks damn bad. Let me just go back to appearances and go to left to right. Now it is normal. Well, there are people who like that stuff, you know. Then we have clear fonts for OLED. If I enable it, then the blacks will be more blacker, better for OLED displays, but I don't have a, an OLED display. So yeah, let me just disable it. And then we have a lot of options. Well, not so much shortcuts. And that is why it is actually better. Yep, simplicity is more preferred in today's world. Now, this is a sync reminder, so we can sync things as well, okay? Now, there's a button specific for toggling dark mode and light mode, good. Well, dark mode actually looks damn good, you see? Yep, it does. But light mode is the one I prefer. Now, let me just try one thing. Let's say I want to copy from mark text to this beaver notes. 
let's say in future i want to switch things so i copy everything Control c here Control v and here i am good let me just Control x go to title and paste it there so yep it worked pretty well and it actually looks damn good better than mark text like yes mark test is serious more professional application but beaver notes is even better in my opinion yes you have limited options sorry but still everything looks good and it actually feels a little better and lighter in my opinion let's try another one let me just save this one i'm going to save it well i could have just opened it from somewhere else for example if i press ctrl o no i can only create notes not do the other stuff right all oh, right it is already saved i don't have to do anything good so let's say i want to copy the other table is it gonna be able to copy the table i press ctrl a no so i how can i do that like from here file edit copy as markdown then i'm here ctrl v no it doesn't work i need to copy it by myself so ctrl c maybe control v it doesn't work because it's a table it's a damn table and i cannot change it so yeah what if i say control c and now control v yes it was able to paste it but it is not okay hey i have an idea let's create a table of the same dimensions and now control v no it still doesn't work so yeah most of the markdown stuff does works but still it's a little hard to copy and paste stuff. That is why I prefer to stay on one thing, either on Beaver Note or Mark Text. And now this allows you to quickly export and import stuff, archives. It, it has a pretty simple and minimalistic yet beautiful design language. And it is good for day-to-day -day normal go-to tasks and notes. But still, I prefer Mark Text for this stuff because Mark Text is a little better professional and reliable in my opinion now let's go to the other stuff for example how can you download these two things well you just have to go to Gnome software search for mark text there it is well yeah i'm using flat packs okay beaver notes there it is just like that and yeah i prefer flat packs to be used instead of the official debian or fedora or arch packages because these are much reliable and stable that is why and i believe that's it for today maybe yes all right then so yep that is it for today i hope you have enjoyed the video and found this video helpful and yes this was an informational video and i'll meet you next video till then i'm um signing out yep it was a short video but yeah tell me in the comments did you like these applications and yes i know i should have covered obsidian in this video but I felt like Obsidian, Notion, all of them are way too complicated for a normal user. Well, yeah, says the person who actually used Notion for his whole life. Yes, Notion is amazing, but not so good for me. Like, I prefer MarkText because it stores everything locally and it looks a little better. Yes, Notion can be made into amazing stuff and I actually am working on something like that. A proper video and a product is coming soon, so yep. Yeah there goes a hint for my upcoming product and yeah it's gonna take a long time it's really hard to create a product now leaving that i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for more awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel and i'll meet next video <sighs> till then i'm um, signing out